Hello people, welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create baselines with the Behringer Rhythm Designer RD8. So first you might think this is just a drum machine. How is it possible to perform baselines with it? Well there's a little trick or a little workaround how I call it where you can perform baselines with the low tom. And today I'm going to show you first the theory, how I come up with this workaround and then I'm going to show you how you can incorporate some bass lines in your live sets. So I did a few live sets some months ago. I'm showing you just a little um, excerpt from one of those sets so you can see and hear how you can perform bass lines with the RD8. So basically, you can create bass lines with note repeats on the low tom. So here we have a tempo of 130 BPM and when you listen, I'm triggering the note repeats on the low tom. And when I raise the tempo from 1 to 2 note repeats per step to 4 and then to 8, you can hear how the sound is changing to a kind of like sawtooth uh, oscillator. And when you listen closely, you can hear when I'm changing from the 4 to the 8 note repeat that the note is changing. On the 4th, when we are on tempo 130 BPM, on the 4th note repeat we got a G sharp 1 and when I change it to the 8th we got a C sharp 1. So basically now we are able to perform a bass line with two notes which is a little bit limited but for a drum machine creating two distinct tones as a workaround I think this is pretty good. When we are raising the tempo a little bit to 130 BPM, you got two different notes, which is on 4 it's the A1 and on the 8th it's the D2. So the tempo is setting which notes you can play with this uh, note repeat workaround. So with that knowledge you know how you can create bass lines as a workaround. But how can you incorporate them in your sets? Because what I just did was, you know, playing it kind of like live, you know, improvising. But now we want to incorporate them into our sets. So what we can do for that is we can program these note repeats into our patterns. So let's, let me just make a basic pattern. I guess I got it muted. Yeah. No, so basic pattern 130 BPM. And let's just come up with something short. So basically, it is. Note repeats on these steps. So right now it's just the simple note triggering because we are not programming those note repeats. But what we can do to program them is go to settings and press RPT for repeat. Then we have the option to program those note repeats for a certain sound into the uh, step sequence. So basically here we can change which step we want to trigger a note repeat and what we can do, like on the first we can press the 4 
and then press note repeat again. And when we do it, you can hear that it's changing. So on this one we want the eighth note repeat. And so we can hear we have the bass line sound incorporated into our step sequence without needing to play it live. And this repeat is just happening on the low tom because we selected the low tom. So we can exit the settings and are back again. So what we can do to bring the sound a little bit further to make it more interesting, we can incorporate the wave designer and the uh, analog filter into it. We press send and select the low tom. So now the low tom is assigned through the wave designer and the analog filter. So at first we got the wave designer assigning the attack time and the sustain time. So you can hear when I adjust the sustain to full, the sound, the lower bass sound is holding a little bit longer. For the filter we can choose the low pass filter. And as you hear, we can shape the bass line a little bit more to our needs. We can also add a little bit of resonance. To make it even sound more interesting. To make our sets more interesting, we can also record the filter changes. So for example, I press the record button and then adjust the filter cutoff. And you hear, it just recorded the cutoff modulation. And so we can make our bass lines even more interesting, making them a little bit more funky or acid-like. Another thing that you can do is you can tune your low tom, low tom a little bit, which adds a higher frequency to it, but for me it sounds a little bit disturbing, so that's why I like to tune my low tom all the way down. So that's basically it. To create bass lines with the RD8, you need uh, to think a little bit outside of the box, a little bit more creatively, but I think it really sounds interesting and can make your sets sound more interesting. And even just using the RD8, you can clearly make just a full house or techno beat on the spot. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, if I can improve something for the next videos and we'll see you in two weeks. Make sure to subscribe. Peace and out.